Hi guys, Fog of Gaming here and welcome to PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. The 8th update to the PC 1.0 release just came out and it introduced a few changes when they promised the roadmap of 2018. Today we're going to take a look at the new features that this update added to the game. Keep in mind that these changes are still limited to the test servers and they will be applied to the live servers once everything is stable. The weapon skins that they promise can now be applied to your favorite guns. You can find the weapon skin inventory by clicking the weapons tab under customization. Once you're there, you will notice that there are a few rows of boxes labeled with weapon names. The weapon skins that you'll find in the future will be visible in these boxes. Once you're in the customization tab, you can click on the name of the weapon class to see the skins of that weapon type. You can also have them arranged according to when you obtained them or when you last equipped them for example. You can also arrange them into tiers so that you can see the high tier skins first. You can click on a skin and then click on the equip button near the bottom left side of the screen to use your new weapon skin. The character model on the right will then be seen using the weapon so you will see what the skin really looks like. You can also click the view more button to check the details of the weapon skin that you have equipped. As soon as you log into the test servers you will receive 100,000 points, a weapon cosmetic key, well actually 20 of them, triumph crates and early bird keys. There are two ways to acquire a weapon skin. You can open a triumph crate, which is a paid weekly random crate that currently has a 20% drop rate. You can also open a raider crate, which is a free non-random crate. You can use the weapon cosmetic keys to open the triumph crates and you can get more keys from the steam market if you happen to run out of them. The raider crates will not need a key at all, but they are obtained separately from the other crates and have a 100% drop rate. Both the Triumph and the Raider crate can drop the same kind of individual weapon skin, but with the Triumph crate there is a chance that you will get two rare weapon skins if you're lucky. New servers have also been introduced in this update. The old Korea and Japan servers have been split into two separate servers. The Koreans can now play on their Korean server while the Japanese can play on their own GP server. A new leaderboard has been added for each server as well. The new Korean and Japanese servers are invisible to players outside of these areas, but you can still play in these new servers if you team up with a buddy who is from this region. This change was introduced so that there will be less ping related problems and language barriers that you have to deal with in this game. A few bug fixes were applied to the game as well. For the menus, refreshing your friends list no longer takes you to the team tab when you're currently in a team, so it's now easier to manage the people you are following. For vehicles, you will no longer be able to immediately enter a building if you exit the vehicle parked beside the window of that building. Also, if you exit the vehicle when you are lagging, the game will not treat you as if you were hit by your own vehicle. This should reduce the number of unfair deaths that you encounter in the game and it will keep the game experience more authentic. As you know, they have implemented a ping based matchmaking system. As of now, they are thinking about operating servers that are limited to the players who reside in that region. These servers will be made invisible to the players outside of that region. So for example, if you live in Europe, you will not be matched up by somebody from China, unless he has friends in Europe and they team up all together. Now just to be clear, this is not a part of the current update. Hopefully in the next update we will be able to announce you that the region lock has been implemented. By the way guys, the YouTube likes and shares are very helpful to me. If you think that this video is worthy, would you mind taking a moment to like this video and to post a comment as well. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you in Battlegrounds.